This is AppChasers.com. Today we're taking a look at a new app by one of our favorite app development companies, and that's Riedel. Now, Riedel is best known for making such great apps as PDF Expert, as well as Documents, Calendars 5, and others in their nice productivity suite that they offer on the App Store. Today we're going to look at a new app that's a little bit different than the ones that they've offered in the past, and that's PDF Office. Now, PDF Office, you might be wondering, is different than PDF Expert. PDF Expert is a file management application that basically stores and syncs all of your files across different devices, and it can be linked to Dropbox and other cloud services. Now, those are great for annotating and making uh, some slight changes to files, adding notes, things like that. But what if you want to create a PDF document from scratch? Maybe a form that you'd like to send out? Or how about if you want to edit the text of a PDF document? Well, previously you couldn't do that with PDF Expert, but now you can with PDF Office. So let's dive right into the app. I've got it here in the upper left hand corner of my screen. We'll open up the app. Our first view here is a nice uh, layout of our documents uh, container. You probably noticed that there are no syncing services here. For example, there's no folders. Uh, there's no um, syncing to Dropbox or those cloud services that we mentioned before. That's specifically what PDF Expert does, not what PDF Office does. What PDF Office is great at doing is creating new PDF files. We've got the ability to do that by just tapping on this plus icon in the left hand upper corner. And we've got different ways that we can start a new document. This looks very similar to uh, Apple's Pages app and uh, Microsoft Word. When you go to create a new document, you're given different uh, formats, different templates that you could use. So we've got a blank document that we could start. Let's just tap on that here. So we've opened up a blank new document. Across the top of the screen are different tabs that uh, give us some tools that we can use in PDF Office. The first one we have here is Annotations, followed by Forms, Edit, and View. Let's go into Annotations, and we have a few different tools across the top of the screen. First we've got some pen tools where we can go ahead and start to draw on the screen choosing different colors, different uh, styles of pen here, our opacity, let's go to 100%, and uh, of course we've got different colors and a few different uh, sets of pens that we can use that are saved right there at the top for us. We also have an eraser tool we can go and uh, erase what we've just done. Now let's go into our annotations again and let's uh, create some text here. So we tap on the text uh, tool there and we'll just tap anywhere on the screen and we'll just type out some text. There we go. Now if we want to change the style or the uh, uh, size of the text we can go ahead just select it and you can see right above our keyboard we have uh, different sizes of our font, our point style of our font that we've got. We can also choose a different font. Let's go to Helvetica here and we can choose the style of the font which could be bold or uh, regular. And We can also change the color here. Let's go in and make this uh, purple and it's just as easy as that to add text to a new PDF document. We've got shapes we can also add. Let's change our color here to green and we'll uh, draw a square. We can always edit that to a rectangle or whatever we'd like. We can also draw uh, circles. You can see it defaults or it jumps right to a nice uh, grid target there, target area, which is a great way that Riedel does that. We can also add uh, arrows, different things like that to our uh, new PDF document that we're creating. At the bottom of our screen, we've got different tabs that show us our different PDFs that we have open and that we're working on. Let's close out of this one that we're creating here. Just hit done there. 
And of course, it goes right back to the other one that we're working on. But let's go back to our documents here and let's create a new document. This time we're going to create a scan from our camera. If you're familiar with Riedel's other app called Scanner Pro, you'll be very familiar with PDF Office's scanning abilities. So let's tap on Scan from Camera. This opens up our iPad camera. Now I happen to have a document that I want to scan right into PDF Office here. So let's do that. Let's grab it right in our frame. And you can see PDF Office starts to work trying to align the page edges here. We'll tap on the camera button and it'll take a picture and bring it right into the app. Now once we have this open we can change our contrast here on the side. We can also change our brightness of our scan. And then when we're done we can save it right into our documents view right with the rest of our PDFs that we've created in PDF Office. So I'm going to name this Trader Joe's and we'll hit done and there we go added right to our documents view. Let's create another new document this time we'll look at our forms ability that we have in PDF Office. Now once we tap on that create a new form button we've got a little bit different view here than we had with creating just a blank template file for a PDF. At the top of the uh, screen we've got our fields tab insert and properties. So let's go ahead and create a new field. This is pretty neat. Um, if we tap on the text field button we can just drag a square. Well let's just make it a little bit smaller there and we'll finish with that right there and let's go back over to fields again and we'll create a number field here. I really like the alignment features in PDF Office. You can see it snapping right there and let's create a calendar date field and there we go and now uh, let's let's just be done for now. We'll tap that in the upper left hand corner and it's going to give us this preview of our different fields that we created. Now let's use the text uh, button here to kind of give the field some name. So let's just say uh, text field here and we'll go ahead and stretch that out. Got a little more room there. Let's create another one called number field and then the last one is um, let's just call it enter date. There we go. And we can move those around as we please. So there we go. We've got a new uh, form that we've created here using PDF Office and we've got a text field, number field, and the date field. So now we're ready to see this form PDF that we've created in action. To do that, let's export it to PDF Expert. So we'll tap on the upper right hand corner there and you can see we've got some open in uh, options here. We'll say document. It's going to give us our different apps that we can open it in and we'll choose PDF Expert. So there we go. There's our form that we created in PDF off Office ready to go in PDF Expert. Now watch what happens with these form fields. We'll tap in one and notice it brings up our keyboard ready to take some text. Pretty neat. Now let's go to our number field. Watch what happens here. And it brings up our number keyboard ready to take. 546. Now this is really neat. I really like the uh, date option that we have here. Let's tap on that and look what Riedel's done here with bringing up a nice calendar to add our date. So let's add, add January 8th 2015. We can also change the year just by tapping on that. But let's say January 8th 2015 and we'll hit done. It's pretty cool how PDF Office allows you to create PDF forms right on your iPad. Since we're still here in PDF Expert, let's go back to our main documents view. I've got a PDF that I'd like to actually edit with PDF Office. 
So I'm going to open this PDF right here in PDF Office. So we'll select it, we'll hit our Open In button on the left hand side, and we'll choose Open in PDF Office. Now this is going to import it right into our Documents view of PDF Office. So we've got this nice PDF here, but we also notice that while we are reading this, that we have some changes that we need to make to the text. We can do that now with PDF Office. Let's go into our Edit tab along the top of the iPad. We've got a few different tools that we can use here. Edit text, we can add text, and select text. Let's go into Edit text here. Now it brings up our text in different paragraph boxes, so it's more easy to edit the text. And let's tap in one of them, and you can see we've got our text ready to be edited. So instead of saying uh, Express Common Programming Patterns, let's go and delete out of that and say Language instead. There we go, we'll hit Done, and now we've edited that PDF. It's as simple as that. As you can tell, our text font has actually changed from the font that was originally in the PDF, but that's just a minor inconvenience here. We can always go back and change that just by going into our fonts and uh, choosing the font that was originally displayed. So we'll select that and we'll say Times New Roman. That looks a little bit more like the original there. We'll hit Done, and there we go. We can move text around by uh, simply tapping on it. A lot of different things we can do with PDF Office to edit documents that we already have. Let's go back to that Trader Joe's flyer that I previously had scanned in. I really like that PDF Office now offers us the ability to add links to PDF documents. Let's go into our Edit tab here at the top. This is a different tool that we've never seen available on the iPad before. This is the ability to add a page link to our PDF documents. A page link will take you from one page in a PDF to another page within that same PDF. Now this one only has one page, so let's use the web link instead. We'll tap on that tool, and it's going to ask us for a URL. So that's a website address. TraderJoes.com, we'll hit Create, and it's going to throw up this little box that we can drag anywhere and uh, locate it in a part of the page that when we touch it, we'll open that link. So let's do that. Let's just hit Done there. Now it's green in PDF Office, but if we open this PDF in a different uh, app, such as PDF Expert, watch what happens. I'll say Open In, we'll say Document, and PDF Expert. To open that document right in PDF Expert and you don't see the green box anymore. However, if I touch Trader Joe's, watch what happens. The link activates and it goes straight to TraderJoe's.com. So pretty neat way that PDF Office allows you to uh, add website links to your PDFs. So that's a quick overview of PDF Office by Riedel. Again, it's a new tool, it's different than PDF Expert, and if you're into creating PDF documents or editing the ones you have, this is an excellent tool from one of our favorite developers. This has been AppChasers.com.